Hey guys, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how you can make this 3D typography effect. So let's get into the tutorial. I have already marked the beads and now I will start by adding a text layer and adding the words. The font I will be using in this tutorial is Overcrew. I will be providing the link to the font in the description so you can get it from there. After the text layer you can add a camera layer and also add 3 to 4 null layers. Now parent the camera layer to the null layers. Also enable 3D and motion blur on all the layers including the text layer. Now we will begin with the camera movement. For the camera movement click on the first null layer and press P and shift R to open this. Now keyframe the position and the Z rotation. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open the graph panel and copy my graph. Now add a text preset on the text layer. You can use any text preset. I will be providing the link to my text preset in the description which I learned from Izumi so shout out to him. Now I will be customizing my text so I will start by adding a deep glow to it. After adding deep glow and drop shadow, I will be adding shine to it. Once you are done customizing the text, you can duplicate the text layer and write the next words you want. Now reposition the second text layer, you can press P and R on the text layer and move around the text. Now we will be doing the camera movement for the second part. The most important thing for smooth camera movement is overlapping of keyframes. So you must position your keyframes behind the keyframes of the first transition. Now you can follow me with the rest of the camera movement.
Sometimes when you change the angle you will notice that the text goes out of the frame. In such situations you should just zoom out and reposition the text. For example in this case when I changed the angle value to minus 90 degrees the text went out of the frame. So I just zoomed out and repositioned the text so that it's back in the frame. Now 
Once you are done with the camera movement, you can add optical flares and particles. So this is it for the tutorial. If you have any queries or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.